Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sama. So in this video, I want to discuss this post that's been going around social media for the last few days of a Nigerian celebrity, Ruth Kadiri. And let me read exactly what she said. So basically, it's a post she made in which she said that Nigerians don't deserve help. Uh, I'm going to read it to you guys exactly how she wrote it. So she said, how do you fight for people who don't want to be fought for? How do you defend people who will tell you to rest after two posts about you fighting for their cause on social media the only thing they want to read about is how a celebrity's marriage ended and how an actress is living with a married man call a politician out and tell other truth hating benefit hungry cloud chasing celebrities will say i stand with uh i stand with whoever you're calling out but i think it means that they're they're standing with whoever you know, is being called out. And then he says, Nigerians don't deserve help. <laughs> Please don't bother. I read that, I'm gonna be honest, I laughed my head off because this is something about the truth she just spoke. I know it because it's something that I have experienced. I, I remember when the first time, uh, you know, initially when I started making posts and addressing the politics and the church issues and a lot of stuff in our society. So people were like, eh, make me hear what? In my mind, when I started, I was like, ah, I'm about to expose some truth. Let me come and tell people. I, I was, you know, when I tell them this, people are going to be, as far as I was concerned, I'm about to tell people the truth they did not realize. Or if it's things about the Bible, I'll be like, okay, let me show them this Bible verse so that they'll be like, wow, I'm going to put it out there. There are some people that are like, eh? I never knew. Because when I showed some people Deuteronomy, when it came to tithing, people were like, what? They never saw it. When I talked about the widows and the, you know, the orphans and the stranger among you and all the, you know, eat your tight, all of those things. So people were like, eh? This thing, the Bible? Ah, I don't know, say the Bible. Blah, blah. Some people came for me from left, right, and center. Yeah. That was even when. I made the video where I said it. That, that was when I even knew that somebody called Daddy Freeze. I never knew. So people say, ah, Daddy Freeze want to be. So people say, Mommy Freeze. I say, who is? Before I started Googling Daddy Freeze, and I found that who called at the freeze. I did not know him. On the post, I leave it all this kind of uh, stuff for me. I have been on this thing for years. I have posts as far back as 2012, you know, far back as before anybody ever heard about the freeze. But people will come and attack. And the thing is that you will make a post and say, I made, I made a, a post. I was talking about when they banned Twitter in Nigeria. And I said, why would they ban Twitter? So because, and I said, but what did they do? They say, uh, because he tweets of uh, Buhari was deleted. They will not ban Twitter for every other person. I said it doesn't work that way. Fellow Nigerians, we are the ones that you are trying to explain to them that this is your right to information. This is like social media has become information center, basically. So if anybody is trying to cut it off, you are breaching your own right as an individual. I try to explain to them the consequences. Come and see Nigerians. I say, what? Fellow Nigeria, she be now said, if I say now even Nigeria, if I say now I got myself, they beg Twitter and I made a comeback. But there was the post they said, uh, I can't remember the phrase, if I find it, I'll put it on the screen. I laughed my head tired. Now they beg for to Twitter to come back. Nigeria do not realize that a lot of companies now, they need Twitter. It has become like part of their way of communicating. A lot of people, companies are using their social media platforms. It has become normal now. There was, okay, for example, they say there is something so going on. Everybody goes to Twitter and say, did the company tweet it? They could be like, oh, there is something so going on in this company. There is blah, blah, blah. People go and say, ah, is this tweeting it? A lot of international companies are going to countries that have advanced to boost their companies and their whatever. And then Nigeria is banning Twitter. So people will be like, ah, we're going to a country that is banning what is basic. Before they could choose Nigeria, they would choose another place. And then you'll be wondering why some things they will say they chose Ghana. Yeah, why would they choose Ghana? We are giant of Africa. Why are they not choosing us? There are a lot of the things that are making us backward. So we as citizens should realize that okay, this shouldn't be happening because it's affecting us. So these mega companies that would have loved to come to Nigeria and be like, you know what, we're not going to that country. Their wala is too much. All the jobs they could have provided will be lost. And Nigerians do not realize that when you're making a post to address their rights to information. They will come and attack you. That it, I understand what this lady is saying. I understand it. When Shuwure went to Nigeria and whatever happened, some people will be like, okay, you don't like his method or whatever. But we know what he was trying to fight for. I was surprised when some Nigerians in Nigeria are telling me, ah, the guy, what country he love? You don't know how far now. 
They are the one laughing at him and making mockery of him. So people are saying, there was one chance people were like, eh, hey, what are you talking about? Somebody said there that there's some company sponsored him or one thing or the other. I was like Nigerians. Me, I don't know the details, but some people do not know that in Western society, if you're fighting for a cause, there are some organizations that can value what you're fighting for that will be very happy to say, we can support you. Shore is in Nigeria. Well, where is the source of income? Where is the salary? They can decide who can support you. So people can volunteer and say, okay, let's do donation. I know activists that will hear that somebody is going to their country to go do revolution or whatever. And they believe that your country truly needs revolution. They can say, let's support this guy. He's trying to go bring revolution to his people. And they now decide to do a charity and donate to this person. So people now say, oh, you go to bribe him to come and disorientate Nigeria. I just say, goodness gracious. I'm not saying I know all the details, but I'm telling you that it is normal that anybody can start up any charity and be like, oh, I saw that guy on social media. He went to Africa to do so, so and so and so thing for his community. Let's support him. And they will send money. Because they will say, when they gather together, when they make their t-shirts and their orange um, cap they are wearing and all those things, now money, people don't think. I'm not saying it, I'm just using those as an example. When they decide to gather to in a place and they all shatter a bus to bring themselves to a place, now money they take carry those buses. Do you know that some of these people that do voluntary work abroad, you know, they have comfortable lives. Because there's people that be like, okay, I don't have the, the time or the energy or the ability for this cause you're fighting, but I have the finance. This is my contribution. Let me contribute financially to your cause. That way, you guys don't worry about the financial part. There are some people that will decide that I will make sure you guys are comfortable because I support the cause you're fighting for. The same way I'm talking about my church here. They will say, ah, one missionary went to one part in Africa, blah, blah, blah. And they know that this community that this missionary went to, they don't have source of income. They'll be like, let's provide them with food. Sometimes they can send them food stuff or donate money and send the purpose of that is this. Let this missionary guy that went, maybe he went with the wife and children, let provide for them where they don't have to worry about money to feed, house to live, their children's education or whatever. Let's make sure we cover all this other side so that they can be 100% focused on doing the work of the ministry. Focus on spreading the gospel. Let's help them just to lighten their, their load. I know some elderly people will be like, I'm too old to travel to Africa for, for, for whatever. I'm too old to travel to Asia but I have the money let me my own contribution is let me sponsor these people to help them I'm just talking about show real we saw people laugh at show hey but no how far now it is a bikini and this guy said he was coming to come and fight for his people the way some Nigerians talk about him but let's not generalize because that's one thing I said I understand these ladies I'm not I don't believe she means to generalize there are some people that appreciate people like show you may say you're not doing it the right way but at least he's even doing something in the way that he's trying to. Then correct his own way. Let's see if we can put him on the right path according to you. The same thing when DJ switch, DJ switch, uh, whatever happened as she left. There are some Nigerians today that they'll be dragging DJ switch for, for no reason. Nah, I don't mind that. People are blasting DJ switch. When you ask them, what did DJ switch do? They will be saying, I'm like, God, who then is going to fight for Nigeria? Who? There's nobody that will come and fight for Nigerians that they will not. Me, that I'm even with. <laughs> so, if there's something going on, right, and I make a video, and that, that's another area where some people don't realize you don't fight something by saying it once and move on. If you are saying that what our government is doing is not correct, too, you won't, if you don't forget it. If they do another one tomorrow, say it again tomorrow. Even that same one you discussed yesterday, there's another angle you can come back and discuss the other angle that you missed yesterday. The day after you can continue, that's how you go to fight a government or fight against uh, um, things that the government is doing that you do not like. If you do one video, you do two videos, by that you do the third one. It is our fellow Nigerian that will come and tell you, Zupaniki. <laughs> they will say summer. Zupaniki, rest. They will tell you to go and rest. And you're like, you know some of them be like, eh, hungry YouTuber, it's all about money, it's all about this, it's all about that. You know, because some of us don't come and brag about our lives. Or show our life on social media, look at my this, look at my dad. So people think we are hungry. So people think we are starving. I made the post on Babuari. This was a more comment and was insulting himself. I clicked on Facebook. I clicked to actually see the person. 
And I saw the person is living in abject poverty. And I'm thinking, me will be saying, my own shit don't even soft, small. I can be talking about the problems in the country. The person that is inside is suffering. When I saw he looks, I'm, I'm not saying this to be disrespectful or anything, or just to look down on somebody. I'm being honest. You can see that this person is poor, he's wretched and struggling. And I'm here with as comfortable, let me put this, my small comfortable life. I can be addressing the problems that's affecting his own life. And he is attacking me. And you wonder why she will say Nigerians don't deserve fighting for. And there was this video I came across uh, on YouTube. You know, I just mistakenly came across this video. And this was a uh, Don Jazzy. And he said something. He said, he said he likes to do it like Superman. He said because, uh, he said, you know, Superman will just help save somebody and put them down. He doesn't wait for thank you before he goes to go save somebody else. So I think there are a lot of people that want to speak up about our society, our problems in the country. Don't wait for anybody to thank you. Just do it because it helps you feel good. And okay, I don't talk my own, no, or I don't contribute my own, no. Uh, you know, because if all of us hold hand, our children and our children's children, this is the country they have to inherit. You will never wait for everybody to pray, <laughs> to praise you. Because when I saw her post, I was just laughing. You can never wait for everybody to come and praise you before you will say, okay, oh, before I will do it. Do it because you know it's the right thing to do. That's how it works. You don't do it because, I'm being honest, you know what helps? It's not to focus on the negative people. Focus on those positive people. That's not what I want my video. Ah, so I like the way you said this, you know, it never really occurred to me. Let that be what guides you what you do. Not necessarily all these people that will be dragging you or insulting you for speaking the truth that more people should speak. I made a post last week where I showed these people playing games and you see these other people bent over. And, and I said, I can't remember how I phrased it, but like, I said, if only our people would stand up. And that post, I can't remember, let me see. Let me read that post exactly how it is. It says, if the people stand, the game is over. Okay? You can see all this, the people with the money, and they are at the top playing this game. And see the people bent over under them, that they are using as table for their games. But if only those people at the bottom can stand up. This game they are playing will be over. I shared that uh, on my community tab and I said, if only our people would rise, if only our people would stand. Let me tell you, out of these people that oppress the people, they oppress the people with the people. If only our people can stand up, rise up, the game will be over. But they refuse to stand up. They refuse to rise up with the same voice and speak together. That's the problem. Let me tell you, no matter how oppressive anybody is, think about the, the most oppressive people you have ever known about. They don't physically come and do it. They have the people. Let me tell you, they use police to brutalize Nigerians. They use the army to oppress our people. The people they use to oppress us are us. But if only our people would rise together, the massive change, because they cannot oppress us without us. A lot of these mega people that you are looking up to, they are mega ness. They won't have that mega ness without a lot of. They have house here, uh, driver, nannies, uh, uh, cleaners, gate man. Yeah. Without the people, they are nobodies. Until everybody rise up and say, "I want a different future for the country," we all rise up together. There will never be a change. There will never be a change because now when I look at people that oppress others. I look at them, I say, who you be? Nobody was born with two heads. Nobody was born with two heads. But unfortunately, the people have refused to stand. They are there bowing down to, okay, I don't want to go there. Bowing down, bowing down, refusing to stand. They are bowing down to their oppressors. They are refusing to stand. I get what this lady is saying. But I want to use the opportunity to advise us, encourage us. Any truth you want to speak about our country, Nigeria, don't let this kind of people that discourage you be the reason why you give up. No. Keep speaking the truth. Gain your satisfaction in knowing that what you have just spoken is the truth, regardless. Speak it and leave it there. When you say the truth, eh, one million people may say, hey, wait till this one. If only 10 people take the truth, it's something. If those 10 people pass to another 10 people, slowly we can rise. We can rise. Nigeria can't be better. But unfortunately, our people have refused to rise. Like I'm talking about this uh, post. And you see that picture and the cards. You see that they are playing it at the backs of the people. 
They are playing it at the backs of the oppressed. And the oppressed are still bowing and allowing the game to keep going on. That is it. The moment the oppressed rise up, the game will be over. I'm hoping. I, 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 like I said, I saw that. I laughed because I knew where she was coming from. I get it all the time. I've come to the point where some people come and they are insulting me. I just block them because they are a distraction. Focus on those that want to listen to what you have to say. Sometimes the pastor preaches a message. And I say, ah, look at what the Bible is saying. No, it's the opposite. So everybody will be like, wow, that's true. I never knew that was in the Bible. And so everybody will be like, who are you? Who are you? So people will attack you for quoting the Bible. The Bible. They will attack you for quoting it. That is how bad the situation is. You know, I saw that and I want to come here and share it. Because I definitely know what she's speaking about. Because I experienced it. Like I said, I've gone to the point where I realize that some people actually exist to be a distraction from the fight. To be a distraction from you speaking up. I made a post in which I said, those people that feel like Buari has done amazingly well. Can you tell us now what he has done that we, some of us do not realize? That's also insult. Simple question. Because sometimes I actually say to myself, maybe there are some things I do not really realize. Maybe they will just be insulting, insulting. Now, people that insult me, I block them. I would rather exchange with somebody that actually wants to exchange and maybe we can rob minds. Maybe tell me what I don't know. Let me tell you what you don't know. We can rob, no, but we are just here to be destructive. I don't have time for that. Block them and focus on those ones that really want, you know, want to listen to you. Because these people that distract you can discourage you. I really wanted to come here and share. If you're one of those people that you feel like you're speaking the truth about the country, about situations and everything, and people are attacking you, block your ears from those people and focus on those people that are actually receiving what you're saying. You understand? Just say, don't let this be the reason why you become discouraged. You know, focus on the truth that needs to be said. That, that, that's how I, I see it. So I saw that post and I wanted to come here and share it. Um, as always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, and with that, I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.